Hey, so I need to vent about something and I really hope to raise awareness on this issue because I don't think anyone else has really talked about this. Um, as some of you know, I have a small business. My husband and I make an all-natural moisturizer and it's the bomb. It is, I mean, it's way better than anything you can get, you know, at Walmart, like, you know, that chemical garbage. And anyway, so we've had our business for a while. We've recently just started to um, really push it and we put it on Amazon and we're trying to make it grow. And it's really hard because Amazon is like, I mean, <laughs> it's so competitive on there and, um, we were, you know, getting five stars, like, from every review. Like, we well, we only had, like, ten, no, nine reviews, right? But all nine of them were five stars. And the majority of people that try it really love our product. It's, like, amazing. And then a couple days ago, we got a one-star review. Okay? And this is the first negative review ever on Amazon. And they gave me one star because they didn't, like, the smell or they thought the smell was too strong which is like really bizarre because it's not too strong the smell is very gentle and it could have been a competitor trying to like r ruin my reputation um but my point is when you leave a one star review and there's only like nine reviews that score goes way down okay so now my score is three and a half stars and mathematically it shouldn't be that low um, because it's like, you know, nine, five star reviews and one, one star. But I think they only count the ones that are written, like the reviews that have like a description. So now it's going to be even harder to get orders because nobody is going to trust a product with three and a half stars. So I understand if, if something you buy something and it is just horrible and you have to leave a one star review to really express yourself, but to leave a one star review because you don't like one thing about the product, um, just cause you're in your emotions and, and you want to like, you know, really hurt me, you're hurting a small business that is trying everything they can to stay afloat and compete with these huge names, these huge corporations which by the way are screwing you because although their product is cheap, they put alcohol in it. So your skin gets dry and you have to keep putting it on, putting it on, putting it on. My product, when you put it on your feet, like if you have really dry feet, you put it on for like a week. You don't have to put it on for like a couple more weeks or whatever, because it actually soothes and like, you know, deeply moisturizes your skin and repairs your skin. So you don't have to keep putting it on, putting it on, putting it on. So it's quality. And I just wanted to raise awareness of the fact that you're hurting a small business when you do that just because you're in your emotions. And you won't even give them a little more than one star just because you're trying to be a jerk, you know? Um, it's already hard enough to get orders being in this huge ocean of other lotions because I like number 300,000, right, um, in the search results. Because there are so many products on there. And what sucks the most is if you type in all natural moisturizer, everything that comes up is not natural. Nothing's natural. <laughs> Nothing's natural. The actual natural one can't be found because I am new and I'm trying to get people to find me. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share that. If you're interested in my product, it's called Mana Cream. M-A-N-N-A Cream. And, um, by Van Cedars is our last name. I'll put a link in the, in the comments, but yeah, it just really, it's devastating. It's, it's so like discouraging, you know, cause I really want my business to be something. I want that to be my job. You know, I have entrepreneurship in my blood. Both my parents are entrepreneurs. When I do an order, I'm, I feel so joyful. I just feel so good and fulfilled when I do orders. It's just, it feels like what I'm supposed to do. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate it if you would share this. I think it's a point that should be made in the world right now. Um, all right, thank you for listening. God bless.